Well, this is going to be deadly. I've just upgraded the shoe Shroom Storm 3. And um, apparently I can have even more. Uh, I have got a bit of a problem at the moment, though, which is that I keep on getting owned. <laughs> so I had an idea to armor up my... Yeah, to armor up my... Uh, the back end here. So... I'm going to relocate my torpedo tubes. But I, I don't want to break the whole ship. Because it's going to snap in half really horrendously. Mm -hmm. Let's see that happen. Do yeah, it. Do it's, it. It's done it a few times. Want to see more? <laughs> Violence. Violence. Oh, we'll get there, trust me. There's some really <laughs> big ships in this game. It's quite horrendous, actually. Well, I'll have Lichgrave to thank for showing me this game, because I wasn't really aware of it. And... Yeah, actually, Lich has done a lot of uh, videos on them, too. damage but they just don't know man thrusters a bit because they keep on blowing up my thrusters. <laughs> Thrust works like that. Hey man, don't talk to me. Uh, it's Newtonian physics, man. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you what are you saying about Newtonian physics? No, no, no. I'm right because um, the particles from the engines would hit your uh, would hit the armor and then push back with. Would they? A little bit less than equal yeah. force. Do they though? Well, you're in space, so they shouldn't actually lose any. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, any... I know. But in the game, is that how it works in the game? That's the important thing. Probably not. Right. Well, I know. Let's find out. I think I should be okay then. Yay. For a minute there, I thought that I'd made a horrendous miscalculation. This is not true science. This is blasphemy. I know, right? Yeah. This is not blasphemy. Dude, get your this spreadsheet. This is Sparta in space. Get your spreadsheets out, guys. We're going to do a full investigation. Oh. What happens when you have a thruster pointed towards Hall? Well, depending on the materials you are using, it might as well be melting through your main body. Well, it and then it's causing either... a nice big hole. And then you're you either die. creating 
you're either creating slag at your launch site or you have a rudder. <laughs> that or an works. aileron, depending on aileron or elevator, depending on how it rolls. But there's no atmosphere in space. What are you talking about? Hey, that never stopped reboot. Bro. My childhood TV show right there. <laughs> Elsewhere. Everyone who's not Canadian has no idea what we're talking about. Nope. It's a Canadian made <laughs> TV show. Vancouver made. Day. Oh yeah. I have an awesome poster I picked up at last year's Fan Expo. Um, I think they're still playing it on Netflix right now. Oh god. No, because I know there's yeah, there's a company that bought out the rights from the remnant of mainframe and is trying to bring it back. What? They yep. what? They're doing yeah. a reboot on reboot? Yeah, they're rebooting reboot, yeah. There's been a comic <laughs> book series for years for a while now, yeah. Yeah, 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 but not as good as the TV show. No. Yeah, it's a poster of uh, Gigabyte and uh, the guys fighting them. Oh, that's not... Anyways, let's get back into... This game. Reassembly. Reassembly. <laughs> well, we, we just... Completely a left turn here. You just nerded here. out over like the Canadian show from uh, How I Met Your Mother. 1990s, dude. <laughs> it was 1998. Oh god, I don't know. Don't remind me. <laughs> I'm not that old. Don't worry, I'm not that old either, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what if you were? Well, we're not as old as you, Tamino. I'm hey. Sorry. <laughs> so, no, just because we're Canadian, no, say, when dinosaurs roamed the earth, Tamino was there leading them. Yeah, it's pretty true. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Putting the hair in the dirt. It's it's like it's like what they've done in South Korea. They've uh, no, not South Korea. Uh, what was it in Mongolia? They've done DNA testing of over two thousand people and found out that along of those two thousand people, there was like a certain genetic portion that was similar. Are oh, they're all Genghis Khan, aren't they? Yeah, they pretty much all <coughs> Genghis yeah, Khan. Yeah, we all know what that is. Descendants. It's because he liked to keep the women alive, you know what I'm saying? No, he just had a lot of wives. I mean, mm. yeah, cause... lots. lots. Lots of temporary yeah, because wives. because he kind of killed all of the husbands, you know? That's kind of how, how he rolls. Uh -huh. That was his thing. Where do I put the containers on this ship? So I don't know. Just make, make a cargo train. <laughs> Oh, See this, what thing's, happens. this thing's like a blast. This this, this thing is stupid, really, because it's got just loads of rail guns. I was thinking about switching it up for uh, auto cannons, because the rail guns are actually well. These have got really long range, but they've got a low refire rate. But they want things. It's actually quite funny. Hmm. Well, you should have a bunch of audio cannon turrets just for no other reason than to deal with fighters, right? Well, I've got a lot of uh, P to upgrade with, so I'm thinking about putting another proton beam in. Make a huge cargo train. What happens? Yeah. Can, yeah. Can you make chain links? I could do. Can you make chain links behind the uh, thrusters there? Mm. Just haul the cargo behind the thing, and if if anything starts getting too close, and you start losing your ship, you start swinging the cargo around into well, things. As for the cargo, I'm probably going to just take these out here. I don't know how far behind the stream. Make oh it the God. centralized. Make make it a centralized part and of the then ship. I'll put the containers in like that. Yeah. There you go. So now it's got 1,200 storage in it. <clears throat> It needs more. I know it needs more. That's all I know. And I'm figuring it out. How big are these auto cannons? 
ones. They're tiny. Right, okay. Ah! Right, take that block out. Increase the batteries. So let's see, how are we going to do it on this side? On this side, it's a bit of a funky mess. Alright, take that one out. What's that? Shield projector? Oh, nuts. I took it out the wrong block, the wrong side. Do you need that? <laughs> so let's see, you can take them out of here. Take him out of here. Probably want to put that armor back. Whoops. Like that. Uh, see? Yes. There we go. Okay, so we'll take that. Oh, wait, no, that's, a stru that's structural. So what I could do would be to... Derp, 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 derp. Place that there and that there. Yes, that works. Let's throw this. Luckily for me, hull is free. But it does increase weight. But you need more armor! More protection! Oh god. We've got problems. How bad is it just adding one block of armor to this ship? It's not that bad actually. Oh, I still think I need to get one of these. Yeah. seem to be going all the way back. So this is the point where it would have been useful to ask Glitch if um, if one large block better to have than lots of small ones you know because he knew all this stuff about building order and and how they connect and things hello nerf welcome everybody on the stream oh wait is he gone oh poor nerf wasn't that long ago though in fairness so. right come on guys give me a chance to say hello It's got a lot, it's got auto cannons, it's got beams, it's got drones. Could probably do with some more missile launchers. That'll soak up the rest of the pea. Don't you want an equal amount of pea? Don't you want to not, like, not pull too much? Oh, I want to use oh. it all, every last one. What? That is, oh, that wait, is look. madness. 2956 of 2956. Done. Let's test it out. And then, nope. Oh my god, oh, what is it going up against? Oh my god, can you see the competition? I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get... Nerfed. Um, is it because the fact that you've made a really small ship, <clears throat> but with lots of weaponry, lots of thrusters, mm. cargo containers... Yeah, probably and check for the sheer level of it. It says, "Well, now you're gonna, you know, go head on oh, with this thing I that is know. equal. That is equal to I, you." I don't know. I seem to be doing okay, unless this guy's gonna want me with a massive alpha weapon. I think I'll. I don't know. It looks like the swarm is doing its job and sort of keeping him at bay. Hmm. <sighs> Bit of a boring match, but 
Maybe it's just unlucky AI. He's just sort of derping out, I think, and running away. I cannot compute. I cannot compute. Could he be short range, maybe? Maybe. That looks like really having. Him. It's like having the pirates go head on to you, but the way of do of the way they do it is just bash right into you. Yeah, this is one of the problems with AI conflicts in general. Like one of them will just do snipe, and the other one will just so, so they'll either do circles like this. And just constantly be maneuvering and dodging, being shot at, while the other one just bombards from a long range, and they kind of spiral around each other. And the yeah. other behavior is one of them runs away backwards, firing. Null wins round. Okay, apparently I'm null. Null pointer! Oh no. Null pointer! Do we get oh, a different... No. Do we get a different... No, we don't. It should be called the Shroom Storm. Let's try that again, shall we? Now I want to see a good, clean fight. Let's get it on! There's no such thing. I have so many drones out. Oh my god, I win. There you go. That's more like it. Next battle, commence. We have an even bigger ship against you. Oh no, it's best of three. Look at him, he's getting his engines beaten. Uh, he'll probably get a lucky shot off of you. It can very well happen. The drones have caught up to him, he's got no engines at the back. This is, oh, and now it's just his, oh, when he's done. It's like kicking dead puppies. Ah, Lich Grave. Well, go back. I mean, oh, this is this reminds me. This reminds me of my friends when they had Galente ships in Eve. Oh my God! Drones I'm ahoy! Him. Oh my God! I'm wrecking it. Re Lich, I wanted to ask you. What was it I wanted to ask him? Damn it! What was it? Oh. Probably something to do in chat. Um, there was a... It was something to do. No, it was something to do with this game. One of the mechanics. Uh, what was it? Was it? Oh, was large it? block versus small block. Ah, what happened? Right. Is it better to have a large block or lots of small blocks in the same space? Or is it the same? Did you hear me? Like, you know, would it be better to have a three by three of small squares or one big square? Mm, that's a good question. In terms of hull and stuff, because... Whoa, well, um... look at this guy. This guy's a legend, mate. He's just like... Whoa, he's called the Crushing Anvil, and he's just flying about. I, I hate to think what's going to happen if he crashes into... I mean, it really depends on what you're trying to achieve. If you have a bunch of little squares, you could effectively replace them oh! with... Oh! He just uh, he got nerfed on. my face. Mate, if he crashes into you... Whoa, he hits you with like, what are they? What are they? He's winning on points. Which which ones? I don't know. I don't even know what he's shooting. Are they lots of little lasers, maybe? <laughs> oh, God! Those lasers are disgusting, mate. Crushing Anvil just freaking handed my ass to me. He literally ripped it clean yeah. off of you and oh then God. just gave it to you. I'm up against the carapace. He, I seem to be evading his short range weaponry. And just. I'm rushing now, apparently. This is rushing, by the way, everyone. So, Lich, by, by putting in bigger blocks, I mean, uh, you have. Oh, God, more I coverage? just lost my forward armor. But then it just cost a lot. To have those huge blocks. This guy's got more big turrets oh, I mean, than me. Oh no! Don't get shot. Because what happens is that if you have the uh, if you have a whole bunch of little squares in, in, instead, you could put uh, generators. So you can have more power, which means you can fire more weapons or launch more drones at that. Really? If so, I have more, they're... wait, wait, wait. Hold the phone. 
Important information. If I have more generators, I can launch more drones. Right, because it costs energy to it costs energy to launch a drone. So, so effectively speaking, if you energy. have enough P and you have an if you have enough P and you have enough uh, uh, energy, you can launch like twenty or thirty drones. Uh, oh god, I'm I taking have... massive damage from this guy's. Uh... What are they? Mortars? No. Giant guns. <laughs> rail guns. He's got massive rail guns inside shitloads of armor. It's devastating with loads of like overthrust. It's devastating. Overthrust. He has all of the thrust. Us. Us. I'll tell you what. Oh my god, my drone swarm cannot defeat him. All of the drones, he doesn't give a crap. He's just like, eat this. If these mosquitoes don't do nothing to me. I will laugh at them. I think he might have, does he have point defense? In Soviet Russia, you don't kill mosquitoes. Mosquitoes oh. kills you. Oh, I mean, The guy's name is Carapace, right? If I'm recharging, I might take this round on points. Unless he blows my face off in the next 30 seconds. Weapons reloaded. Firing. Oh god. It's gonna this is a close this is a close fight. Basically he's just spinning around me and dodging. And my guy's like, rush him, rush him, rush him. And he's getting shot a lot, but he's Oh Armored. no. Oh, armor. I just took some heavy hits. I think I win this round. Yes. Yes. Go Shroom oh, Storm 3. Woo. Go Shrooms. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Because the problem I found was, unless you've got, like, like, if you go with all of one thing, then the enemy that has the perfect defense. They're just, you know, if you have all short range, the enemy just uses long range. You know, they're quite good with that. So you have to take a bit of a mix, otherwise well, it's not perfect. Look, I, this is what's happening. Oh god, I'm getting murdered out there. My shields are down. I've got heavy damage to the front section. It's trying to repair things. It's repairing the shield generators last. Oh god, I just took more damage. It's Either. not looking too good. It's not looking good for me. The, the score's pretty even. Yes! Come on! Get in there! Oh, no! See, my shots don't actually hit. Is it because it's trying to use the long-range weapons? Oh, God! Maybe. Oh, God. Go, drones! Go! So what we've learned is... I need more energy, and I probably need to stop focusing on the freaking Alpha Strike railguns so that my dude tries to get in a bit closer. It's like, ah, oh, they're not going to do anything to me. And Or if you're <laughs> going to focus on the Alpha Strike railguns, have more frontal shielding. Hmm. Well, I've got the Great. Sphinx to fight, so hopefully this won't be completely one-sided. <laughs> like, he just comes in. Oh my god, what's going on? Oh god, heavy damage. Oh my god, that was... Actually... There goes half the ship. <laughs> oh my god, that was disgusting. <laughs> okay, round two. Well, what be did he shoot you with? Oh my god, what the hell was that? What did it's he just... shoot you with? I think it's just a boat of full-on railguns. He's just like, I'm gonna make my ship out of cannons. <laughs> I've got no armor. Oh, I've my got ship all systems. Is gone. My ship is gone. He's and... using engines as armor. By the looks of it. They do have a considerable amount of armor. <laughs> but he has a whole lot of very heavy hitting weapons. Oh man. Guilds were inoperable on that one, huh? Back to the drawing board, man. That was the pinnacle of Mushroom Fleet design. So far. The Mushroom the Fleet design, technology. The design was flawless. 
Yeah, but then to you. their own shame, they saw that it wasn't. Time to go back to the drawing board. I'll show you this one quick. Time to go Whoa, back to the future. Look, 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 Shroom B. <laughs> this one hasn't even been in the testing thing. It's a much smaller ship. So it's a bit more traditional look. the combat. It's just like pew, 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 pew. Because it's, it's, it, it, it's a classic prototype. There it's you go. It's small. Yeah, it's only small. Aww. Okay. Instant classic. Yeah, look, it's got a little bit of everything. Not very maneuverable, though, compared to everyone else's ships in this game. When I see everyone else's ships in this game, it's got like five thrusters on every side, like boom, 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 boom. Which is fine. Yeah. Do you know what I should do? I should make a cam bot for Yelby. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Just make a big cam bot. It can't be that hard. I'll probably mm -hmm. put the uh, maneuvering thrusters on the inside so they're protected. How hard can it be, Jeremy Clarkson, or how hard can it be, <laughs> Richard oh, Hammond? Yeah. And Lich, what's the deal with those giant engines? Um, probably for uh, large, very, very large ships. Uh, so pointless to put it on something small. Yeah, unless you really want to go down that route, in which case, well, I don't blame you. Well, it looks a bit silly. It doesn't really work. Well, the engines yeah. that guy's using. I mean, they're not too big. Oh, no, they're, like, bigger than those ships. They're massive. Oh, my God! Save me! Oh, well, if you can find them. <clears throat> Show we're them. not, we're nope. not saving you. You're, you're, you're just... <laughs> you're on your own! Oh, uh, of all places to spawn me! <laughs> Come on! Yeah! Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on! He's mine! He's mine! He's mine! Might as, well, might as well just get more repair drones. Just surround yourself with a cloud of repair drones and have a few missile launchers. I don't even, I haven't got repair drones on mine. That exists? Hey? That exists? I don't know repair I don't, drones exist. I don't, I don't know. So there's no repair drones. Only attack drones. They re the, the ships regrow themselves. Yeah. Ah, okay. So it's not like from the depths or anything. Okay, I get it. I get it. Some, uh, classic ships, like sci-fi sci ships, silhouettes. Hmm. Uh, eventually, you don't have. To. Make 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 the Tintin, uh, rocket, moon rocket. Oh yeah, yeah. I used to love that show. That's funny. When I was a kid. Have you guys heard of a game called later. Moonbase Alpha? Yes. I've heard of it. Yeah. I've. I've uh, not played it, but I've seen lots of videos about it. I'm gonna download that game. That's just too cool, man. Plus, it's NASA. Hmm. NASA approved. No, NASA, they made it. Well, I guess in that way, it's NASA approved, but actually you know, made the freaking program. They want to see who has the highest score and they'll probably knock on your door and say, Hey, do you want to do a mission to moon? We have a secret fighter program. Attacking it... the aliens from Kalath and Ooh, who's seen, who's seen Stargate Universe? It's the last Starfighter, mate. It's really old. Stargate movie. Universe, anyone? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, but they, that was the whole... It was a hat nod to an old sci-fi movie where an arcade machine was the recruitment simulator for an intergalactic fighter squadron. And this guy oh, had yeah, a score on the home planet and he was the human then. 
And he got taken Men in Black style and was, and it was like, guess what? That game you were playing and got the high score in, in turns out you, 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 you volun you've signed up now. <laughs> it was all real. You now, you now need you, to do this. Is... You know, that kind of gig. We have to beat this horde of, you know, monsters out of this ship. Yeah, and it turns and out you're, you're the only one only left. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. That gig, you know. I There's volunteer no one else. you as tribute. Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> well played. Don't forget, Tom, you also have to give really bad maneuvering. Ash Ketchum. Ash Ketchum is. He's on in, in, in the arena. It's like. What 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 would he say? Uh, Pikachu, you Miss Everdeen, I choose you. <laughs> <laughs> and then she pops out. What? Like, what the hell? I didn't sign up for this. Like that's what's in these fucking Pokeballs? <laughs> easy, easy, easy. <laughs> PG thirteen, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. That slipped out. Right. Flipped. The other day it was uh there was a video that was flipping, about right? yeah. yes yes <laughs> the other day there was a video about how the pokeball would be able to capture people Ooh. it's done if... before where's Cambot? this is Cambot. eventually it'll be Cambot. it's just well looking good but do you have enough materials to do so? You must well, making a can about pretty easy. Pylons. Make it free to play and be like, do you want to buy more pylons? And then people will be <laughs> like, yes! Yes, for the love of God. I think you'll like this, Rich Brave. What did I do with my green asterisk? Oh, it's just floating away. Actually. Yeah, I'm not going to see that ever again. <laughs> it's gone. Now and there's a reason it's... to have uh, pole blocks on things, isn't there? Pole blocks yep. and a salvage turret. Yep. Or even, thing, a, or even a stop stop beam. Reassembly. You need to have reassembly, have much guys. more fun with a... F with a uh, yeah, sorry. We must reassemble the pylons. Yes. We must reassemble our, our focus, yeah. Reassembles the pylons! Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry so at least the pylons diamond shape, though. I'm sorry if my construction isn't enthralling you guys. Not up to par? Ah, I say more. bogus. <coughs> build what you want to build. Do it the way you want it. That's what I say. Could Don't said it give... myself. Look at this crazy cam bot. It's got internal thrusters. Pop. Every everything is inside. Yelby, I'm glad you're here because I'm doing it. Made a re cambot out of reassembly. Of course I'm here. <laughs> Cause I I but first I had to go out and get some uh, earbuds and put them in a small blue box. Oh. Yep. Nope. Could you just like coat the outside in proton beams and just like disco ball? Disco cambot? Well, I've left. Switch. Not yet. Disco bot. I was wondering with Yelby whether I should, what, you know, I was just thinking. I've got a cambot. There's plenty of room for me to add weapons, but I don't know what weapon system. I mean, I obviously I was thinking defense cannons are a good idea. This world is disco! Add every weapon. Fire everything. Everything. Fire everything! Oh, train of fire everything! Fire all the lasers. Do it. Do it. Fire in a disco. Pretty easy to fire play. in uh... fire fire in Nabisco. Fire in my lasers. 
fire in the... I have a fire in my Uncle laser. Grooves. Danger! Danger! See, rail guns are huge, so we're not going to use those. Expensive. Expensive. What? If they're only huge, they're not big enough. Make the biggest cambot. <laughs> With just inside of it, all internal rail guns. Or just like a whole bunch of proton beams, go for a Death Star. To a singular point on the outside of the ship. <laughs> yeah, can they? Can you make them converge like that? Yeah. Well, if you get small lasers and then you have proton beams that just shoot down straight out, right? You could sort of pretend to simulate it. I was thinking just put auto cannons all around the ship, so it just fires lots of auto cannons. <laughs> You can put batteries on each side quite easily. You can have like four of them. The plasma projectors at the front is obvious. So, do the railguns fire uh, past the, your inside armor? Mm, yeah, I think so. But okay, what are those like, little crystals and big. stuff inside? Those blue things are thrusters, mate. Oh, I see. You've just. I've, I've hidden them inside so that even though they hit me, they just shoot off guns and armor. That's the idea, anyway. I think. Can we put plasma projectors shooting out the back? Put them everywhere. Put them out of each side, so that it doesn't matter which way it shoots, it'll just... <laughs> That's an interesting design. Hmm... <laughs> There's more that can be done here. We must construct additional cambots. So in this game, how big would that currently be? Um, no idea. Doesn't actually say, there's no dimensions anywhere. So is it auto cannons on one side and flak on the other side? Oh, flak cannons, yes. Yes. I never use flak cannons. 
They're automatically set to point defense, so yeah. Mmm, more point defense? Mmm, tasty. Put them on there instead. Don't forget, you can set up weapons to use point defense with the B key. That's what? your uh, loadout. It's alright, we're setting it up. The cambot will be made. Okay, there we go. We've got more auto. Wait, what, what did he say? Auto cannons one side, flak on the other. You have two types of two different types of guns on the left and right. Oh, he's telling me that's what I've done. So I've made flak on one side, and ex and, and how did I do? How did I manage? Oh well. Well done. Well, hey, it, it might work. <laughs> Who knows, right? <clears throat> So anyway, let's see what happens when we call it a cambot. Needs a front, Tom. A what? Needs a front. A front? Cambots don't have a front. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Do they? Is it three engines Camera? in the back and the pointed front? Camera? Engines. I guess it's true, yeah. Uh, I've kind of this made it unidirectional because Starmade was... Doesn't really work though. Oh god. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. It does just kind of look like you're flying a giant peanut. And also, I think I'm getting owned. <laughs> oh god. I blame the grave. I blame the fact that I'm being silly. No, I think it's the grave's fault. Dumb lasers. Oh, the fun of being on call. <laughs> yeah, fun. Yeah, when people start calling you in middle of the night for issues. Anyways, or more gaming. Are they calling middle of the night, seeing that your refrigerator is broken? No, no, they they call all night because their furnaces aren't working and they're freezing to death inside the house. And then I tell Haven't them. they heard of a blanket before? And then I tell them, Do you know where the power switch is? No, which one? The one that looks like a light switch. Oh, you mean the one that's right over my head? Yeah, flip that. Oh, look at that, the furnace is working! Yeah, oh, dumb it buddy. Work. And then you, yeah. send, then you send them a bill. Hey, you know, there's another good I, I I wish I could do that because fixing by phone is easy, so I don't have to get out, but then I don't get paid. Ah, we can't have that. So you do, Tom? You turn the computer on? Yeah. And then it works? And you get paid? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, actually, yeah. I got everything that's blank. I don't think nothing is working. Although, <laughs> it wouldn't be really very fair to say that. It's not really quite that easy. But that, well, you know what? To be honest, it doesn't matter how... Opinion, uh, how do you say it? Opinionated? Opinion? Something like that. 
Some people are about, like, yeah. Some people are about service technicians or anything like that. It's like, well, you know what? I'm getting paid for things like this, so... People saying my computer's not working or people saying that my furnace isn't working, I'm not, I'm not going to be judging them. Anymore. Yeah, and Agent, you were right. My build was not good enough. <laughs> It needs, it always needs to be better. Every build needs to be better. It needs more RAM. Download more RAM. More wedges. So we can wedge it like Wedgenault? Yes. Make a Wedgenault. Um, the next Cambot version you make, you should make it like how I do in StarMade. <laughs> Two power to the side, three engines in the back. Gonna be tiny. Very, very tiny. Put the biggest weapon in the front. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's not gonna have enough E. Power it. Get, just get the biggest reactor. There you go. Then you'd be able to get the biggest. It said these were cheap, but really powerful up close, so let's see. Shall we? Can they shoot through armor? Through your own armor? Yeah. They okay. kind of shoot over the top, if you yeah, can right. imagine. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Right, mate. Right. <laughs> Just, you know, Rolex. a two-dimensional universe wouldn't be possible. Yeah, I know, but that's but why it's, really it's a two-dimensional universe. Yeah, but it's not a real two-dimensional universe because you say air like I just didn't show Cry, <laughs> take, take that freaking potato out of your mouth. Right, it's potato out of your mouth, they are. Okay. <laughs> and quite a steak. Kangaroo meatballs. Shrimp on the Bobby. Shrimp on Bobby. Do they even have shrimp in Australia? Yes. I don't even know why that's yes. a thing. Shrimp on the Barbie. I've never heard it except for people that aren't actually Australian. It's probably from Crocodile Dundee or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or, <laughs> actually, oh, almost what was certain that? it's probably from Crocodile Dundee. No, 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 no. But what was that one? That that one movie with the Australian guy. With the crocodile hat. Yeah. Crocodile Dundee. Oh, come yep. on. He can't be thinking of the thing that you just said. Uh, maybe. How many other movies are there with the guy with the teeth, with the tooth and the hat? The teeth and the hat. Yeah, it's very specific. Be. Crocodile hat. There's also The Castle, which is a good movie, I think. Which is about, uh,. An Australian family that lives next to an airport and how dysfunctional they are. Is that one of the cool people? Wow. That, uh. That sounds pretty bad. 
I want to watch it now. Anything with this functionality is a good movie for me. Okay, Tom, can you put shield? <laughs> okay, I'm like five seconds back from where you are. But... Anything with a broken family is a good movie for me. Because <laughs> you have no family. Family. Dishonor on your dysfunctional family. Wait. You haven't, but I don't think if you haven't filled those holes yet between the, the, the laser turret arrays, can you put shields in there maybe? Mm. I hope so. What's the point of buffing out your spaceship if they're just going to throw enemies that are equally buff? Ooh. Weapon power? Because I can use them in the procedural universe to like completely own, own the... Uh... The nubs? Yeah, the mobs. Yeah, the point of testing it is to make sure that it's actually good, right? Yeah, if it wins at least a couple of rounds, it must be doing something right. It's funny, because they it take looks it good, it does. The AI and they just... Rinse this is it. a lot like that other game. Yeah, I know. Um, that yeah, other you game know that other based game? based off of a similar game. Yeah, I know. It was it like... <laughs> no, no, Captain he's right. Awesomes. It's Captain Forever meets the first... Bit of spore, and that's why it's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. What was the original thing that they based that off of? Mm. Spore beats me. Captain no, Forever. No. I think it was based off something really, really early called like Fraxian or something. I don't know. Can't remember. Era. Made by Star Trek. Type of thing. <laughs> must have been Star anyway, Trek, this yeah. this game, the art style is a lot easier to look at. I think. Yeah, it is. Yard sale? And you choose, it just says at the beginning, what's your favorite color? And you just, you know. You can change the colors whenever you want, you know. Alright, cool. I like the music. I think it should play more often. That's my only complaint. <laughs> it just sort of doesn't play for a long time. Which seems strange. Well, that's why you download the soundtrack. For 1896. Oh, uh, right, really? So I'm going to get flagged for copyright and for every I don't know. Out. <laughs> I'm guessing. So you're going to mute the soundtrack on the game, purchase the soundtrack, and then play it externally. You'd still be copyright flagged because that's. You still, because you don't have the uh, broadcast <laughs> rates. Yeah, yeah. Plus, also, wouldn't play like the war music when you were fighting. Like, it would just be like, da 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 da, and you'd be like, I'm mining asteroids. Well, yes. I mean, technically, if you get some, you know, you need to find some like the uh, stuff without infection uh, rates. Well, if we... for that. well, if you get old enough music. Well, I found several. I use them on my videos. Yeah. Wow. I'm wondering if drones can. No, they can't get out. Can they? They need a space to actually get out from. What about missiles? Hmm. What about, what about missiles? them? <laughs> there he goes. Lichgrave <laughs> says what? Don't even try it. <laughs> what about the missiles? Ah, I forgot to use flat cannons again. Uh, seeing as you're playing the first faction, I would suggest uh, using um, oh, what are they? The uh, the station shields. If you're gonna build a larger ship. Wait, there are station shields. Bad feeling about that whole. Uh, got a feeling it's not. Oh, actually... look, somebody released another MOBA. Hooray. Oh, really? Has this one got a mage in it? 
<laughs> I just... How can you release a MOBA, right? When there's like... Unless it's like there's something really unique about it, there's no way it would become popular because people would be like, well, I could play this, or I could play this other game that has more hype, and all of my friends already play this wow. game. You know? Like, Minecraft? Yeah, it's like... I mean, you know, Schema kind of got away with, you know, doing this because he did the whole spaceships thing. But what's the point of making like a whole, you know, a, like a kind of like a Minecraft thing if people would rather just play Minecraft because there's already a player community and there's mod support, you know, and it's already a finished game. Well, you know. If it doesn't have space and it doesn't have so many features and stuff, it does. Oh my god, this thing's actually doing really well, kind of well-ish. Doing relatively well. <laughs> Better than you expected. Yes. Ooh. This other one's giving it a hard time now. Oh, those lasers though. Wow, if you can get close enough. Those lasers. Actually, oh, yeah. the crap out of people. Oh well, if you're gonna use lasers, then you should probably use uh, more engines, because that's what that other guy was doing. He had like just a brick of engines, and then he just had all the lasers on the front, and he just kept ramming you. Yep. Get rammed. You won't, mate. Stab your cherry muffin, mate. Oh, did you die? Yes! Oh no. oh no. Oh man, look, you can't even like attach the the guns. The lasers. That's one thing I guess they could change. The um mm -hmm. the block placement ratios. Of what? Well, like if they destroy just that one bit of armor, then your guns on the outside they fall off. The four yeah. guns. Yeah, but I don't really know if that's how it works, because I'm a noob. Ask Glitchgrave. He knows. Mm -hmm. He knows stuff about that. The regrowth and how you position things. Do parts fall off in this game? Uh, only if they've been separated 100% uh, from the main body. Yeah. So if they're on by 1%, they'll still be there. Uh, right, so what happens is that if it's still connected, it's fine. If it's not, then it breaks off and that entire part has to regrow. And depending on how it's connected, it could take forever to be really fast. It oh, really all depends on, on how you have like connected. A thin thing, and then on the other end it's really thick, or if it's like really thick and then it is really No, thin. as in what connects the two parts. So say you have a... So you have your your main body, and then you have a factory, and then from your factory you have uh, your all your engines attached to it. The factory takes at least 8.4 seconds to regenerate, or sorry, 12.4 seconds, and uh, everything else takes two, like about one or two, or at the most 3.5. So it has to wait for the factory to be completely finished before all your engines can come online. So what I do is I always make sure that there is a connecting line between my main body and my engines if there's a factory in the way. Or I always make sure every piece of armor is connected to another piece of armor. Never connect to a... only through weapons, basically. They should be connected to the hip bump. Spaceship bones connect to the... The Y-hole yeah, is connected yeah. to the... The Y-hole bone! Uh, damn. Yeah. Basically. The Y hole bones connected to Tamino's bone. Lol. Whoa. Steady on, mate. Steady on. <laughs> He's proud. It's all about the Y holes. Oh. There's a Y hole hanging off. Of... Some purple planet. Are Y holes hollow or are they full of like red bone marrow? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody. They're full knows. of jelly from well, jelly donuts. Y holes donuts. are full of Y hole jelly? They're full of jelly? Nobody. They're full knows. of jelly from jelly donuts. 
Let's ski ma. Ski ma. Ski ma. Ma. That is is a pot. Ma. What? Ma. What? Ma. Something's ma. dropped. You ma. what, mate? What? Those ma. missiles ma. are useless in there, aren't they, Litchgrave? They can't fire, can they? Yeah, in some cases they are horribly useless. What missiles? Well, are they firing? Let's find out. You got oh, what? ages. There's missiles in the middle. I've got like a core room with loads of engines around it, Star Maid style. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how physics works. I totally forgot. <laughs> Don't dodge him. Rush him, AI. Rush him. Get in there and or... use your crazy lasers. Oh wait, are you controlling it? Or... No, it's AI controlled in these rats. No, yeah, during during test, it's all AI. So yeah. AI first AI. Who will win the AI or the AI? Mm. In the oh, end, so I think Sky I'm winning wins. because. Yeah, I think I'm winning. <laughs> this is not to me now. Skynet. It's Guy a building wins. competition, not a piloting competition. Right, I get it. I understand, Torino. I understand, sir. This guy is mobility, by the way. Whoa! The box! No, the guy that was fighting. It's not a cube, Tom, it's a square. It's not it's a, a diamond, square. mate. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's clearly on its side. He's the board queen. Ooh, what's that blue one with the spikes? That looks really cool. We'll be fighting it in a minute. <laughs> in a See world. what a little bit of particle effects and that does. Yeah, I wish we had particle effects in another game. Mm. Thunder. Do you know what else would be awesome that this game has? Sound oh. effects. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. Well, I mean, yeah. But. Oh that... no, he beat my ass! But there's another game that. Th it does have sound effects, Tom. I don't understand. I thought we were making points and arguing about another game that could be improved. Well, he might be, but I don't know what it is, to be honest. Oh. Well, we play it. You play it a lot. Oh, Starbound? Guys! Guys, guys, guys! Yeah, yeah, what, 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 you, what, what? You, have, you, you have to see this article. Yes, 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 yes. Is it about it's, on, it's, on, it's on Yahoo, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna go and launch the uh, universe. The viruses! Uh. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, the advertisements. Okay, no. that's right What? Did. Here's Will Ferrell hitting a cheerleader in the head. With a basketball? <laughs> yeah, I saw that the other day. That was really funny. I do not understand the context, but I'm sure it's going to be an interesting... Why is cheerleader in quotation marks? Because it's a well, movie shoot. Be because oh. what they didn't tell everyone Get at the stadium, it was, it was a live movie shot. Right? So they got, <laughs> the, they got the actual crowd reaction because everyone's like confused and like, what the hell? Is it true? But, well, is it wasn't it... an actual... It was a stunt woman. So yes, he actually did this, but it was all a setup. No. Except, except everyone in the stadium didn't know it was a setup, except a few people. That's a no. great way. To so do a like, real movie. well, yeah, it's also a great way to get the actual reaction of a lot of people. But yes, hype as well. Too. Yeah, it's a great way to set yourself as a role model, you know. Is it a stunt basketball too? Stunt basketball. Um, <laughs> probably. Actually, what is that, uh, honestly, um, it probably wasn't. Uh, well, That's true. it may have been a softer rubber or whatever, but um, it looks like a genuine basketball to me. <laughs> it's a great photo. <laughs> but um, you know, a, a flat. I don't know if you guys have dealt with it, but a flat ball. Particularly the sports types, if they're not fully yeah, inflated, those things hit you. It, it's worse. Yes, because then it's it just hitting yeah. you. 
Yeah, it, um, if it's inflated, it's going to flex and bounce. Um, that sounds worse, but if it's not inflated, <laughs> it's just going to put all of its momentum into your head. Oh, man. It, it's actually better to have it bounce, oddly enough. Bust squishy. Bust that squishy! I'm going to fight but, an agent. Yeah. It was a stunt woman. She was expecting it to hit her. He probably did not throw it nearly as hard as it looked. If someone's expecting it, it to get hit in the head, they can man. make it look bad. Anyway, the point is, it was, it was okay. a stunt woman. It was set up. It, it, oh, well, how could it not be okay? It was all intentional. It's no worse than any if other thing you see in a movie. movie. Then it's just obviously they're just yeah. Being my... Oh my god. Oh. Dude, look at the picture. If you look at the cheerleader behind him, just look at the look of yeah. shock on her face. She's like, "What the?" They probably didn't tell anyone. Right? Just like, oh, we got a new cheerleader well, tonight. We're you can see a few guy. people. You can see a few people behind here are completely nonplussed about it. So, like, the people directly around them do. Well, there, there's a clip. Just watch the clip. You'll hear the crowd's reaction. Oh, oh yeah. No, but I'm saying you can see there's a few people directly yeah, up, around them that clearly know what's going on. Whereas that cheerleader clearly doesn't. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I, I'm getting an, I'm getting owned by like a basket of lasers. I play with Chris. Oi! What are you guys up to? I'm dead. You what, mate? I'm just about. You what? I'm nearly. I'm just nearly at the end of my uh, stroma. Uh, I love the guy that catches the ball and then hands it to the lady Campbell next to him. Take for a fly in the universe and see how it goes. So reassembly. I just got owned. Now I'm going to take the cam that I built earlier. Oh god, this is a terrible build for, for flying in the universe. It's awful. Where else would you fly, Tom? Outside the universe. Did you guys see That's that right, the, uh, the remake of Resident Evil is out? <laughs> there was a film. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the game. Like four games. films. Uh, uh, the HD, HD version of it, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Resident Evil I Biohazard HD Remaster. Tomb Raider in my Netflix queue, because for some reason... Uh, that's a, th not this cool. still isn't a movie, so... Tomb Raider was a book originally, wasn't it? No. <laughs> no, it was a video game. It was a video game. No, just a game? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just a game. It's all just a game. Game three. Oh, I got game my videos to work three. again, Tom. Nice. Apparently, I, I told Steam guy. not to update, Anyways, he... and then it broke because something. I didn't update. Go, Domino. Fly your giant space peanut. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I so didn't think you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next spaceship he built. Yeah, it is. Because the shield system, the bubble shields, make everything look like peanuts or dog bones. Cambot's doing pretty well so far. It just rinses everything. Look. Just lock on, point defense. It's really good at point defense. Oh, you changed it to uh... a... Yeah, so, which gun? Version, version I'm barely having you know what would be, you know what would be an awesome uh, Steam event or streaming event. Whoa. Is we, we we all hop on and then I make up a challenge and you guys build it. Yes, that's an excellent show. You should definitely do. Build a camp, got it. See, it's not impressive. It's if it's what you do every single day, anyways. Just throwing that out there. Giant I'll do it every day. Peanut. The space peanut of doom. Space peanut of doom. You are my target. I made a giant Y, y hole ship a couple weeks ago. I haven't finished it and I probably never will. Put it in the pile. He's How did the Kai one. computers like sector full of unfinished ships? <laughs> yeah. Where do you go? I have that, but in single player. Ah. There he is. There he is. It's a player ship. Where you go? What was the person flying that? 
No, no, no. It's just his ship and the AI has got it. Well, how, how do you know? How do you know to play it? Oh, it says, it's by Agut. Yeah. Hey, Ag uh, shout out to Agut. Yes. 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 Where, where is he, though? You know, I don't think anyone him? in the stream actually knows who's talking. Does Tom know who's talking? You probably do because you've got TeamSpeak open. Yes, I do. Oh. Oops. No one's talking. What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't hear anybody. I don't know what. You didn't hear anybody? Where did the guy go? <laughs> So, wait, away. did did I pick right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think you missed. The person's right under you. The user was banned from the server. I just kicked out, uh, just killed everything. But the guy got you... away again. <laughs> you were banned from the server, reason? Shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans? Usual shenanigans. Oh, I swear to God, the next do, person who says shenanigans. Shenanigans. Do, do, right, what was that do, one place? Oh, trans, you mean shenanigans? Transmorphic <laughs> my guy genizers. Regizers. Transmorphic I, I, Are we allowed to say the official names of actual products on on the stream? Not really. No. Nope. Technically, but no one's you're really white find tiger out. ranger power. White tiger ranger power. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I'm names. I don't know if we can sing the songs. Yeah, I don't know if um, music well, right. see, so no, 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 see, if you're singing the song, it, it's... How to put it? You're ad-libbing without music and probably singing it incorrectly. So you could get away with it. Although, just don't, because... If you, you sing it don't... badly enough, the bots aren't going to catch it. It's like how uh, Smash... Smash... Uh, candy tried to patent the word candy. How come half huh? your ship's missing? Uh, you mean sweet, Candy Crush? No, 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 Oh, there it is. You can say it. They, they're not allowed to patent it. Whoa, it doesn't work that ship. way. Whoa, this is that was not the dude. There's a big ship up here somewhere. Five thousand points. It was like King Games or whatever that tried to patent the. Uh, mm -hmm. They tried to yeah, patent King... the individual words. Like you can't copyright an individual English word. In, in the context the of a game, no. Song. They can, Disney they can, to copyright, they can, um, uh, whatever the the word is for the Day of the Dead in Spanish, because I think that's the name of the film. Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, they tried to copyright that so that like no one else. Yeah, use it. get GTFO. And they were like, no, get out of town. Yeah, you can't. You can copyright unique phrases, but if you're not the first person to even use it, no. Can't See, like, it, let it go. King Games can copyright in the context of a video game. They can copyright Candy Crush Saga because it's mm -hmm. a unique use of the name. It's and it's applicable only to video games. If someone made a movie called Cran Candy Crush Saga, they could probably get away with it. Yep. Oh, it's like Tomb Raider or Resident Evil. Well, I mean, they they, they, they if sold the rights. Copyright the name Lichgrave. Nobody else could use Lichgrave ever. So, I want to copyright Yelby. I, I mean, a good well, example would be um, if Indiana Jones made a new movie, Indiana Jones, Tomb Raider. Uh, the Tomb Raider game could not stop him from doing it because it's out of context. That's true. No yeah. one's going to... Also, Tomb Raider is clearly based on Indiana Jones in the first place. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. The franchise established itself before the, the, the game or the movies. So... I, I mean, just th that's why every, it's a gray area. Copyright like, law bet, is a bet, very gray area. I bet if it went to court, the writers would cite earlier inspiration. You know what we need? Um, well, we need my, my particular accounts. knowledge in this case, uh, Tom, but is for English famous. law, actually. Oh. And um, I, I'm just saying, like, the precedent that I've heard of, which can be taken by any court, but uh, the precedent generally is that if um, you can make knockoffs, as long as it's not so similar that the customer is actually fooled into thinking it's the original. English law allows um, parodies and paraphrases of things yeah, as long the as they are not. Damaging. As long as. It's yeah. That can be pulled. Well, I, I mean, seen... like, you, you can make a, a, a Wall Street diary, right? 
and, and go and sell it. And the Wall Street Journal cannot do anything about it because you're not trying to make it look like Wall Street Journal. If you spelt Wall Street Journal with a capital I instead of the L at the end, they would shoot that down in a minute. And probably also use – they might have something on the font, though. If you change the font to Comic no, Sans no, and – Nope. No. Um, okay. Interesting. If it, if it if you're trying to make it look like the actual product and trying to fool people, they won't tolerate it. But if it's something yeah. that any idiot can walk by and say, "Oh, that's not the actual thing," then they allow it. That's one of the defining features. It's the idiot test. I'm trying to look find an image of the uh, Star Wars knockoff. It was called like Star Wart. Spaceballs. Space no, no, no. Star Wars. See, Spaceballs got away with it because they well, just yeah. changed the name. It was funny, but like it was the the th and it's the same text and everything. It's called and Star the Wars. And slightly different. And it's uh, it was like a toy thing, and it was just be you know, careful because there's not safe for work parodies in the same, you know. Yeah. So yeah, easy. Just easy. just be careful of what you look up. Oh uh, yeah. Rules of the internet, guys. Welcome to the internet. If you Extreme haven't ran into that, robot you're time. beating the odds. Because, like, <laughs> 90%. But th that's, like, at the bottom of the ocean. You, it, as long as you skim along the top, you'll be safe. Probably. So we can't find Atlantis in the ocean? In the internet? Uh, I don't really know what you're referring to in this context, so let's just not explore that. I think he means talking... actual Atlantis. Yeah, I know, but we're we're talking we're talking like the ten percent safe no internet kid, and the ninety percent, was... you know, porn not safe for work stuff. And he's the... talking about finding Atlantis. I'm like, wh what? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Well, I don't know, man. I'm just shooting. Wasn't it clear Atlantis is where all the porn is held? All well, of it. it's Atlantis. It can be magic, if you believe. Mm -hmm. Said to be the most magical place on earth, right? Yeah, well, that's. Streaming. I don't believe no, in fairies. I don't believe in fairies. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the copyright says it's Disneyland, right? I guess that's true. What about like just do it for Nike, or I mean, uh, Naki, or um, uh, streaming Naki, or not not. Tom, Nike. what are you streaming? What, what's going Nike. on? Nike. What are you building? Streaming I'm resupply. Streaming reassembly. You know, Nike yeah, snookers. What's that? It's this N game, Nike. like, it's like the spore bit of microbes. It's, it's like FL, oh, but you oh, mix in. I mix showed this to you uh, way Star back Man. when. Yeah, you did, and I got it, and literally. I, 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 I it, and and, it and you awesome. didn't. I, I need to see this. I told you. I told you. Cause yeah, it, it's the same concept oh. as Star Made, but yeah. it, it's two D. So like, Mate, um, or, or, or um, what's that game? Uh. Space Battleships War. Forever. This, this is yeah, like the is. next stage of Battleships Forever. Mate, it's amazing. I saw what I'm going to say. Just check, come check it out. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the, the cell stage on Spore was uh, similar to this, I mean, but this without the detail. Quite a big shit, but... Glory to cell stage. Cell stage is best stage. I cell stage to... is like the only free stage. Oh. That was, that was the demo. Anonymous. Uh, really? The best part of the game. Uh, the I think your space, space stage is the best uh, part. Oh, I guess that goes down to what your preference in game style is, because that entire well, game was like five different styles matched yes. into one. The it's reason true. I say that is because it's just the polar opposite of space, which nobody like. It, I mean, except for the first five minutes. I I love yeah. the space stage. Oh I'm my god, Tom, yeah. your weapons. It just felt like... No, man, a, I didn't get tired of it. The weapons are awesome. It, I, I it felt like I a always RPG do. stuff kind of thing. I, 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 well, okay, let, let, let's put it this way. I think anyone who play, who's played games with me has figured out that I just like collecting stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. I, I, I am a porter, no, yeah, right? Wait, is it nine or I, uh, like, I run no. around, I run around collecting things and hoarding stuff. Seth That's what Roth. I enjoy doing. And I, I was very able to do that. I found out the best ways to get any type of spice. Um, I, I would find the rare planets, wipe out any native life. Um, right. I would plant the type of native life I wanted. Then I'd put down the... Uh, I'd put down the... Uh, the, the monoliths, right? And get them to go until they were a space race. 
right? And then I would start a trade route with them immediately because they were happy with me because I uplifted them, right? So they'd immediately let me start a, uh, a trade route. And then I would just, as soon as I could, I'd max out the uh, purchase price and just buy out their home planet. And then I had <laughs> a rare spice planet with 10 freaking cities on it mining the rarest spice out there. And I just did that at every single rare um, place I wanted. Well, that's you know how I say. expanded. The spice must flow. Yes, it must. The spice must flow, man. What was the rarest the spice color? Must grow. Like I, I, purple, I, I, I love the weapons no, on this time. Purple or pink. Mate, it, I'm zoomed out. How much did it, it cost? Goes. It was twenty two ninety nine. Well, oh, well, they well. said it's going to halve in price when it comes out. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Just like theft that's, grand automobile. That's usual. <laughs> That's the, that's the unwa unusual way of doing I it. Know, it's it going to happen for when it comes out. Whatever, it's fine. I, I don't care. Yeah. It's worth the money. The, I've already had hours out of it, and I've only scratched the first faction. Right, look. <clears throat> if I push three, you can manage all the ships in your fleet. If you have a factory ship, you can load... You. Look, here, check this out. Oh, wait, no, I haven't got a factory with enough storage. Don't forget, wow. tab is command mode. Wow. Yeah. It's oh, tab is command mode. I didn't know that. It, it makes me sad yeah. how much easier it is to ships. do this um, part-based stuff in 2D. Like, yeah, the complexity drop to do it in 2D is so. Oh man. Oh, can you make the the hail mary or the the migraine trigger or the hemorrhoid? I've made. Um... You can make the outline of any ship. Yeah, I can. That's the thing. You can make any of your ships in this did, thing. Tom, did, did, Hang on, did, I need did to you make, Did you make a giant space? No. I don't do that. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's foul. I don't do Whoa. that, mate. I make cigars, I mean, if you wanted to, he could do the Enterprise. So classic sci-fi. Yeah, yeah cigar I'd shapes. Like a, I would do the Enterprise, if I were you. I wouldn't. I just... Uh... I fought agents who were, you know, who were just... a. You know, Star Destroyers. Or, if not... Um... There we go, right. So, there we go. So now I've got a thing. Have I got enough storage on here? No. What is that tiny thing you put there? It's a, it's a factory. Oh. You get to manufacture, like, ammo and stuff, don't you? No, other ships to command. So what I'm doing is I'm making, oh. like, a factory version that can spawn the ships I was flying a minute ago. Uh, oh, you're making a carrier. Yes. That auto produces um, the, the um, ship types. Yes. Nice. This will be glorious, but it needs way more storage. So Wait, what if we sing a song that's like, or like, and the song specifically is sung by like someone who doesn't really know how to sing on purpose? What, like, like us. Like from Costa. Elf. Uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, I'm hey, singing hey, in a store. Know. Like we could do that, and we'd be doing it correctly because we don't know how to sing. Uh -huh. right. You know what would be so awesome, guys? That's some awesome logic, that is. You know what would be awesome is if you could make templates, save them, and uh, like actually fill them in with blocks, and then load them like an actual item, like you can with the new ship blueprints. Yeah, that would be cool. Then you could actually make like cool reactors and weapon parts. Well, I was and, thinking, you know... you know, stuff to find around the universe. Blueprints, not loaded ones, just blueprints. You can then uh -huh. stuff to make us go. Yeah, that's that's a yeah. good idea too. I noticed it when you mentioned it. Don't worry. Oh, cool. Thank you, Calberry. That you. was mine. Speaking of blueprints, mm. uh, the blueprints for Starmate, uh, those are gonna get like uh, made easier to use, right? What do you mean? Because cur currently I find them kind of like a pain. Mate, have you have, like... have you seen the add all from inventory button? No. Nah. There's an add all from inventory button. You just put everything in your inventory and you go bang bang done. But yes, like a buy yes. everything from shop button. No, no, you have to because you. No, no look, cause here's make... a trick. No, no, listen. Let, let, let me know, just explain know... this. Yeah, I'll, I'll just... explain it and I'll, I'll put it succinctly. Shops are to get a couple of blocks. They are not supposed to be the primary source of. Uh, anything in the game. It's, oh, I need five more shield blocks. Okay. I don't want to go back to my planet and produce five shield blocks. So I'm going to go to the shop, I'm going to buy five shield blocks and put them on my ship. It's not meant for you to go buy ten million shield blocks from one shop after another. 
So the way it's going to work is you'll build ships in your shipyard. Your shipyard will have, or should have some factory automation to make it easier on you. What it comes down to is you'll go to a shop, you'll be like, oh, I need, you know, five shields and two cannons to repair my ship. You can buy those and then you can repair your ship, right? Uh, mate, you're and have loads of fun and you think you're at the same shots. time, while we're making the survival mode more of a game, we will be adding in a strictly creative gameplay. Yeah, so, so it doesn't actually so like, affect any I, of this. I, I have been pushing for that, but at the same time, like, you want Star Made to be a game, we have to actually make it a game. It can't you know? just be a sandbox creative mode shipbuilder. It's got to have some something to it. Anyway, like I was saying, you're going to have loads of fun in a new build, because there's going to be no credits. I've officially bankrupted the Trade Federation or whatever the hell you want to call it. That's on your uh, on your server though. That's on your my server. Just That's just so anyone game. watching doesn't That's get me. confused. That's just me on my server. I have broken custom server. Oh, because you sold you... them all their stuff. Also oh my god, I got my cell phone. Say what now? You uh, you, you also put in the um. You also put in the uh. Custom uh, manufacturing, weren't you? You did some custom blocks. I did, but they don't work yet, so I'm still working oh. on that. I got a null pointer. Null pointer. So I'm still working on that. But... So null is this is this worth null buying, Tom? Pointer. It is, yes. Does right. it have Does it have multiplayer? No, it does not. But that's ah. Oh, now are they planning multiplayer? I doubt it. Even though they <clears throat> should, like all games. Oh. This would be one of the ones that would be really cool to have multiplayer. Plus, there is a precedent for it. I'm just going to throw that out there. Battleships Forever had multiplayer. Yeah. Well, well, who knows? And this, this to me, this screams like spiritual successor to that game. So, so do you have to, like, mine planets and stuff? or? Well, basically, you see these guys over here. If I hit tab yeah, the, and the, click these, on these them. asteroid stuff. Well, if I hit tab and click on my wingmen, they become part of my fleet. And now they'll fire at enemies for me, and they'll also go and harvest by flying near to these things. And oh, just... I see the guy doing it. Yeah, and they just kind of drop it back off to me, and I see the plus thirty. And it's so then that's. That's so cool. Yeah, and then if, if once I get two thousand eight hundred and fifty-three, which will probably take a while because that guy's got stuck. <laughs> oh, Tom, you're I see a. Uh... Patient. I'm trying. Are are those little, are those little ships, or are they like mines, they or are, what? Those all, little blue dots right around in, you. If I zoom right in, you can see them a bit. It's just they all zoom past me really fast. There's there's one. They're all little ships. If you. I mean, like the really little ones. They look like they look like little missiles, but. Yeah, there's turret platforms. Whoa! Here we go. Let's see. The green things are missiles, right? Oh, the little green things. I think they're just mobs that live on this planet thing. No, I'm little not talking about those. People. Those are ships. What? Whoa. They're vegetable people. They're, they're like the... They oh, maybe the, maybe those are the turret platforms. I see them. It's got like a block with a turret on it, and it's got two little corner triangles. Crazy. I see it, mummy. It's really nuts. Look, look, if I zoom right in, you can see the drones flying about. Oh god, there goes my wing. Is that the drones I'm seeing? Yeah, there's a turret platform. The, the little blue things. Yeah, the, the little blue Tom, boomerang the things. <clears throat> the little blueberries, yeah. They're wing, got wings. Blueberry What's muffin. that, Lich? Did you get to like mid game yet? It's about, you know, between 5 to 8,000 feet. No, I'm like at 2,900. Uh, I went around looking for the level 4,000 agent, but he's not there. I'm Agent. currently just sort of harvesting my uh, R. You can save it, right? Yeah. I mean, is this a continuous universe, it or is, is it missions? There's or... a wormhole. Right? <clears throat> there's loads of stations. You capture the stations and upgrade your ship. Increase your fleet, take over the galaxy. <clears throat> you kill a few agents, earn more stuff. Or you can go through a wormhole. It resets the universe, uploads all of your ships to a global database and saves the game and then you spawn in the new mm. universe with whichever ship you want 
No, no, you, you either upload or so you th go there is to a new universe. there is well, continuity seems, though. Yeah, it seems to save it either way. Th that's though, all I want. I, I just want continuity. Yeah, there is continuity. Yeah. What happens when you go through the portal, Tom? Is that you can choose one of two things. If you hit stay here, then your fleet is sent and it's uploaded to the cloud. If you say continue, then you just go on to the next. Uh, ah, okay. Then you just repopulate. It's going to take me a while to earn that. I love it. I've got them side firing missiles and side firing drones, and it all works just like you'd want it to. I seem to have lost a ship from my fleet somewhere. Patrolling up and down, making sure my sector is in order. And they're just fighting. But looking at your little drones has me, um, that reminds me of those sleeper missiles. Mm. Well, mm -hmm. they just the concept. Launch. See the middle section? I'll fire them. They come out of there, they're little wingy things. And then they just fly off. Yeah, but, but th th those are drones. They're not quite the same as sleeper missiles. Are Drones are cool like... too. Don't get me wrong. I, I it just it just reminded me of the sleeper missiles concept that I had brought up uh, oh. way back when. Well, it the the me... ones were like it, it drops them like mines, but then instead of just blowing up when someone gets near, if you get in range, they chase after you yeah, looks... and then blow up on your hull. It, it looks like debris that kind of has a a, a blow effect on it, and it just it does. shoots at people when. It... Will go and shoot yeah, the, the people and stuff, and then they. Those are out. so cool looking. They're amazing, man. I just want to make a full-on drone build because they're so useful in these. Yeah, they are. Situations. Cutting what? Oh. Oh. Guys, you never believe oh. what's in the bowling category in Steam. What? The bowling. There's simulator. a bowling category. It can't be a bowling yeah. simulator. Yeah. You know what's in there? Is oh, is that like a that, that purple thing with all the stuff growing on it, Tom? Was that like a space station or something? Grand Theft Auto I think 4. So, yeah. It was probably one of mine. Ha! Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a bowling game. Bowling simulator. <laughs> I mean, a, a large stealing automobile 4. Uh, I don't know when Loki posted this, but he said if you scroll, you can increase the containers. Oh, right. Nice. Thanks very much. Sorry, dude. I get really... Yeah, you oh, so you can so... and scroll, and you can increase the size of certain parts. Mm. Oh! oh. I tried. Yeah, mostly it scrolls, Cal. It's quite interesting. Like, yeah, like, like I said, it doing, it, doing it in 2D allows so many more cool things that you simply can't do in 3D um, because of scaling issues. Oh! Oh, I'm so close to earning a spawn. I, I saw... I'm so I close. saw someone's um, comment about time. shields today, and they're like, "We should try this cool concept where, like, you place a shield, and the proximity of the different shield generator blocks increases the strength in relevant oh, areas." I'm like, man. "Yes, that's a really cool concept," and we thought of it. The problem is, the proximity checks for each shield block would quickly lag out even the best computers for a small ship. Yep. Yeah. It's you, not you can't. You can't friendly, do it. It's not a friendly thing. Come on, guys. It's the same reason that weapons fire um, currently doesn't uh, damage more than one block usually because that's proximity checks on a grid are give really it. Um, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. They're give fine it if there's one, but if you start having hundreds of them and you have to generate hundreds of spheres, proximity spheres around each one of those blocks, yeah. Yeah. Who wants molten core? You. Oh wait, get free in-game content this weekend. Vindictus. Mm. Nah. You, uh, how do you make them come back to you, mate? You don't. They just die out after a certain point. Oh, they're so useless. They're just drones. They don't need to come back. Mm -hmm. You just make more. Yep. No, I, I think that I, I think that. Oh. Oh no, they'll just follow you around. They're so derpy, mate. They've got stuff I want, and they won't give it to me. Give me the stuff. Yeah, that's one thing is that AI will pick up if they're if they're uh, 
If they're regrowing, then they'll it. sometimes pick parts from other ships that are nearby and attach them onto themselves. So you can get ship. like a like an obliterator on one of your ships and it'll be like, whoa, what? When did he get that? The really cool part is is that if you go into F3 and uh, chain and change him up and then save him, you can save that as a blueprint. And then you can have that weapon on that ship specifically. Dude, but you gonna... can't take it off. If um if you guys are enjoying this, I would suggest you follow um, Space Pirates and Zombies uh, 2. It's a game they're working on. It's supposed oh, cool. to have quite similar gameplay, but it's in uh, 3D. It will have limitations, you know, that this game doesn't because it's in 3D, but, you know, just yeah, a little played, recommendation. I the first one. Yeah, the oh, first one was like this, but you couldn't customize yeah. your hull. You could just customize oh, yeah. the, uh, the equipment yeah, you could slots. Just change what... Equipment, dude. I think the I'm new one's gonna let you customize the hull. I'm getting a cambo in my. Phone. Um, it'll be it'll dude. be modular parts, kind of like in a uh, Kerbal. Oh uh, yeah. Right, like you just strap a piece on here, put one on there, that kind of yeah. thing. The first one was like Space Rangers Two, which actually I kind of like that one. Space Rangers Two was a bit of crazy game though, so it was fun though. Exact same thing, but it had uh, a lot. It had no offense to, to Spaz, but it had a lot better AI, and that you could actually interact with. It simulated the whole. I don't. Thing I don't care if you're in Spaz. Really. It's not like I work for I them. I know, but anyone else. Listening, I just you know, enjoyed the game, and game. I saw they're making a, a second one. You know, in 3D. Yeah. I think there's a new Space I, I, Rangers. And, and but notice, I, heard it's I, I didn't even good. say. I didn't even say you should buy it. I said you should just yeah. follow it Fair because enough. it Fair might enough. be worth it. Yeah. No, but uh, Space Rangers Two is a pretty fun game that. Uh, at one point, it had, it actually had an RTS built into it, as one of the mini games, uh, and then a whole bunch of text-based things. Like at one point, you're managing a ski resort; another, you're piloting basically battle mechs. Next thing you know, you're piloting piloting battle mechs, fighting against an enemy in a ski resort. <laughs> reasons yeah but then it also Bear had back. like full on space combat and you could but you started sort of I guess the space version could basically be run, summed up as a 2D primitive version of um, Star Citizen or the more recent one uh, what's it called <coughs> that just came out yeah Star Citizen Elite so Dangerous that. yeah Elite Dangerous Mm. So anyway, have you got reassembly? Do I have it running? Oh, I know you've got it, Mitch. Cal just stepped out, so... Yeah. I'm talking to the people that were talking. Uh, in the channel. I it's do not have it yet, no. Concept. We'll I'm be picking it up, it. by the looks of it. it I'm definitely going to be fun. picking it up. Yeah. Oh, wow, those are new. Okay. Those can increase in size. Good to know. Bump into all my wingmen to get the stuff from them. Bump, bump, bump. Come here, stop flying away. Bump. 92, there we go. Got a new ship in the fleet. Where is he? What's it going to be? So, so far I've got a Cambot, a Hailstorm, and... Ah, oh, the other, the laser, is that the laser Cambot? Oh, it is as well. Well, that's going to be good. 
The laser cam bot's in the fleet. Got to protect him. Amazing. Oh, that giant laser cube thing. Capture it, capture it. Capture, capture. There's another one down here through this sector. I don't know if I can get the fleet through though. Got quite a big fleet now. Oh, let's bump everyone. I bet they've got enough materials to spawn another ship. Yep, boom. What's it going to be this time? Another hailstorm? Yes. See, it's brilliant. You just build like three copies and then you slowly expand. <laughs> and now we're into fleet tactics. It's pretty sweet. I should build a little fighter or something to go in the uh, production queue. Oh, but I already did that. I wonder if that's fast. Probably not. I know this guy's pretty fast. Shots fired. Heavy fire. Capture the thing. <laughs> Let's play capture the banana. I captured the thing. Ooh, banana. Banana! Let's see, I've got 1,000 something C. What's a plasma mortar? Oh, it's a charge sounds... shot. It's a, yeah, it's a charge <laughs> shot. Oh, a charge shot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. And what are plasma cannons? They look expensive. Uh, plasma cannon? Hmm. I haven't got Do you have those things? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, the plasma cannons. The yeah, they're just, it's just, yeah, it's just the, the small one except stronger, basically. I haven't even got the small one about according to this. Wait, oh wait, no. There's, oh, wow. four, there's three of them. Yeah. I'm getting that. Let's remove something. Let's remove that one. We never use it. Yay, we've got something new to play with. <laughs> I better head back. Down. New? New! I'm going to patrol my way back up to Frontier with my fleet. Fleet of shrooms. There's supposed to be some hardcore boss around here, but I haven't seen it. I'm quite annoyed that the game hasn't come through and just want me tonight. Come on, want me! 
and my axe. I just love how many drones, there's small clouds of drones everywhere. Hold position. Wait for the fleet. Regroup. Yeah, like 30 drones or something. <laughs> that guy just created another factory. <laughs> All he can do is make more of himself. Onward! There's turrets everywhere which mostly kill them. Oh wow, look at this base, it's all fully upgraded and, well, built and stuff, well, I think. How do you unlock more races? Uh, you have to kill you have big to ships. Yeah, you have to destroy uh, an enemy ship uh, equal to or greater than 1000p. Ah, uh, cool. So, like, if I want to be the white spiky guys, I have to beat one of their capital ships? Yep. Basically. Cool. That's Basically. an interesting way of uh, progressing. It is, yeah. I That's like okay, it. because ironically, the starter ship, white and blue, is kind of my favorite scheme. <laughs> Although you don't have to actually use those colors, do no, you? No, you don't. You can just... Correct. I just put purple and light blue in this. If... Um, oh, is it just different shapes too. you get, or like, are their weapons different? Uh, the weapons are different. The shapes can be different as well. Yep. Okay. So it's really just looks, but like all the ships perform the same. Hmm. Right. Each faction has different uh, shapes to work with, but for the most part. But um, but all their parts are functionally the same, or balanced at least. They're I mean, like, they all have the, only... the same laser, even if that laser is a circle, a square, a turret look, or whatever. Right. The only, the real only thing that uh, is linear between all of them is the factory and the, uh, the um, what are they, the power blocks, the, ener the energy blocks. What do they call them? The generators. Those are the only things that are equal throughout all the races. But even then, they change shape. But they're the only things that everybody shares. But then some factions have solar panels, and some don't. And some have uh, uber lasers, and some don't. And then some have shields, and then some don't. So everybody plays different. Everyone's a little bit different. No! I will not accept your reality. Oh look, one of my early ha hailstorms. And lo I love it when you fly around and you see like your early builds populating the universe. It's brilliant. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like Spore. It's kind of like Starmade. New, new. I'm dead. Okay. Another station captured. Well, this part of the universe is pretty dull, actually. It's kind of cool, because it's allowed me to just grow. And I've just bought giant plasma cannons. So, it's time to do a build, and then I'm going to finish off.